Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore some soothing sounds together, shall we? Speaking of soothing sounds, I think we've got a new voicemail. Okay, I want you to know, even if you don't use this voicemail, my name is Pluto and I saved the world. Okay, well, no well, let's, let's not use that one. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for your voicemail, Pluto. All right, so um, we're gonna hear some soothing sounds. Where are these soothing sounds from? Soothingsounds.com. Our audio website of sound effects. Our audio website, website of sound effects. Dot com. .com. <laughs> dot com. Uh, we're gonna be listening to those. And then, are you, you're just afraid to touch your hair. Is that why you do that? Uh, yeah, I just touch well, like every size wiener on, on the planet. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I did wipe with a paper towel, but I mean, it still got wiener juice on me. I'm a, we need to name this move that you're that you've been doing. Well, it's, and, it's, and it's going to be a derogatory why, why, name. Why don't you name it? <laughs> it's going to be a derogatory name. Um, <laughs> and continue. It's like how do you combine Fabio and Loser ah, into like Losero, <laughs> <laughs> the Losero move? Uh, um, pl play the first one. Let's just get into this. I want. <laughs> I need to be. Well, a that's a vacuum cleaner. So this is. Oh, it bumped into something. Yeah, it did the wall. Now, you know, you know, you know me. I have a white noise machine. Uh, are we right about that? Yeah. You are correct. Uh, Good for babies. Uh, so that whenever you do need to vacuum, you remember that time? They're ready for it. We were, we were, uh, just a big honor, big honor. We were featured in Wall, the Wall Street Journal, uh, where they, I think that was the paper, where they like, sketched us. They sketch you, and then they you talk about some things that you like. Yeah. And I talked about the the white noise machine that I have, mm. which I can't remember the brand at this point, but it's in that article. Right. And it's this octagon that literally I have become completely dependent on this octagon because it's it, it has a bunch of different sounds, Wait but it's like. Moment. You say, what is it? What is this? What does the octagon have to do with it? It's, it's just, a speaker. It's just a speaker, but it shoots the sound up. The theory is it shoots it up, so it kind of hits your ceiling and spreads around the room, so it's not just like coming from one thing. But it is a bunch of different like white, brown, pink noise. Basically, it's got like multiple sounds, but it's not like one of those ones like my mom has. It'll be like, you want to hear crickets? Do you want to hear a waterfall? It's no. It's yeah. all like white noise type things. And I have... What about large man peeing aggressively into an empty bucket? Nothing like that. You don't You don't get any, like no vacuums. We would not do vacuums, me and this product. Wait, you, I mean, I don't mean to undermine your salesmanship here, but I mean, if you have a smart speaker, you can tell it to uh, to play stuff. Christy started playing... Um, yeah, I know. S sleep playlist. <laughs> When we were on tour a year ago, I started listening to a sleep playlist and I brought that home to her. And now she's she's every night, we're, go, we're going to sleep. She's like, okay, Google. <laughs> Play sleep playlist. And then she conks out. <laughs> uh, but it's like music. Uh, that's music. But, you, but no, I don't, I don't Lando want play, it to go away. Lando says, when I tuck Lando in every night, as I'm leaving, I turn around and I say, white noise. And he says, dad. How do you always remember and I always forget? Okay, Google, play white noise. Does it last until morning? And it lasts till morning because I don't like waking him up. That's play, the thing. Play another one. Is I actually wake up when it goes off. Oh. Like if the power goes out. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, I'm confused though, because you said that it doesn't play like crickets and blah, blah, blah. And it also doesn't play music. So what does it play? It's just a. It's based on a machine from like back in the day, like the 50s, that was a literal fan. Like, you know, my mom always always has, she has a box fan in it, or she did, used to have a box fan, and it, she would just run it at night. That was her white noise. And so this just was like, people just wanna have something that makes noise. And so it was back before like smart speakers could be that small. And so it was a fan. And so this company has continued to sort of, in honor of that original design. So it's sort of like one of those like, purest kind of things. I know I could do it with my Google Home, but I didn't have a Google Home when I bought it, and so I just stick with it. And also, I just turn it on. 
right before I go to bed, just reach over and it's it can get very loud. That's the interesting, I'm actually surprised that we listen to a sleep playlist because it's different tracks that go for you know nine, 10 I need, hours. I need the constant. And then it, yeah, it's like when a song ends, a new song comes on and I kind of know when I normally go to sleep because if I'm like, well, I've never heard this song. I'm usually asleep by this point. Oh, it's the same playlist every day? You gotta, you gotta shuffle that sucker. Uh, but I, don't, I don't shuffle it because I like to know. But I wonder if it keeps me from being as deep a sleeper because the track goes away and then the next one comes on and they're different. I think I don't think you have any problem with deep sleep. I actually think Based that on the it's a few it's times a, I've needed it's a you better to do something. It's a better training. Uh, it's because then I don't I'm impervious to changes in signals. Let's hear another one. Okay. It's a brook. I wouldn't call that a stream. I wouldn't call that a river, I would call that a brook. I that think it's distinctly a brook. No, no, no. I think it's a meat handed man running his hand through uh, one meat. of those big vats of uh, bait. Meat handed? A meat handed man, big hand, running his hand through. Uh, you remember you, you go to the bait and tackle shops with your granddad? You want me to sign these on the front? Uh, yeah, let's sign it on the front. We're, I, si we're signing these for the Mythical Society. Again, if you want this cloak, you gotta sign it for quarterly or annual by the end of uh, now, by September 30th. I'm gonna treat this like the back of the canvas is the way that you're supposed to orient the front. Or should I go like this, because it's more satisfying this way? Sign it or the like way we, we as the artist want it to be. This feels like the best one. You go to a bait and tackle shop and they got these big vats of like circulating water with minnows in it and that's what that was. And a meat-handed yep. man's <laughs> reaching for some minnows. No, it's babbling brook. You can play forest Oh, it was sounds. a brook? It was a brook. Shh, dang, that's right down to the brook. Hey Alexa, play forest sounds. Hey Google, play a babbling brook. It'll do all that. I kept it small, small and cool. Yeah, that's small and cool. Play another one. That's a truck. That's a fan. That's a um. It's an no, industrial it's fan. industrial fan. It sounded like it was spin. It was it's spinning not, up. Turn, orient them the way. I, I think that should that should be the top. I like that. I like how these are oriented. We should do not one. that one. We should well. We should do one that's vertical. This is be the vertical one. You know. Yeah, this one's pretty good too. If you sign it right there, I think they're all good. That was an oscillating fan. Oscillating fan. Okay, let's hear another one. This is so fun and relaxing. Ooh, that's a bird. That's a. <laughs> it's a, a park. It's a meadow scene. You can hear a. Uh, there's a man with an unruly beard sleeping under a towel. Wait, where did you each say specifically outdoors? A meadow. A meadow? I said a park because I could hear like a street in the background. It's a forest. A forest? Near, I mean, I near a street. That ain't a forest. Near a road. You can have a forest. You can have a road that goes through a forest. I've been on one before. You been on a forest road? Uh, yeah, I have, Rhett. Some of the best roads. Some of the best. <laughs> I was on a road through a forest in uh, the mountains of Slovakia one time. And it was one of those times where, you know sometimes you get into a forest and for whatever reason, either natural or unnatural, like there's no undergrowth and it's just trees. And you kind of feel like, this is what I think of as a fairy tale to be. This is how I picture the forest in a fairy tale. No Behold. undergrowth. These signatures. We're gonna give these to random second, second and third, third degree, degree or third degree mythical society members. Let's hear another one. Fire. Campfire. Fireplace. 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 Okay, yeah. another one. I feel like that's not the most soothing sound to fall asleep Ocean. to. Ocean! Waves! I tried to get Lando to yeah. listen to the waves and like, I, he said he was too distracted by it. He likes the straight I don't, up I don't, I don't like it either. I, I mean, it's like, it feels like you fell asleep in the low tide spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, here they come, they're coming yeah, away, they're gonna like cover in, me, I'm gonna drown. Danger. I don't want that. Remember when we worked in a cubicle environment? I don't want a fire sound either, so oh, there's a fire! 
I want white noise, it means nothing. The the tech guy, Sam, came in and he was like, guys, I'm doing it, I'm installing white noise in our cubicle environment so you don't have to hear each other on the telephone. And he puts a speaker up in, in the, yes. the ceiling and there was a, they a big like rift. It. They didn't like it. There's a big rift in the uh, in the cubicle environment. All of the all the people were getting worked up about that. Because when you work in a cubicle environment, you get worked up about two things. You get worked up about what where are we going for lunch, mm -hmm. and what's that the, noise? What's that noise? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's it. Do, do questions. Wait, you, wait, wait, wait. And what's that? He smell? installed a speaker that played the sound of a fan. No, just uh, the white noise. You play white noise. I, like, I'm so confused. He played white noise in from a speaker that was in the you know the drop ceiling. Why are you confused about that? I could, I'll draw you a just, diagram. Just noise is basically what you're saying. Like there, there's no you don't associate it with. Yeah, just a white noise thing. to cover up. So it's so because basically it was a small office and people are like making sensitive phone calls and it's like I don't want to listen to you make a phone call right now. You know? Did it work? No, the people I mean, there was mutiny. People didn't like it. Some people like. No, people I didn't, didn't mean. Like did it work for the like politics of the office? I mean, literally, did the noise uh, drown out phone calls? Yeah, it did. It does help. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. I think everybody should be. Have, well, I, I everybody I feel the need to continue own. to show this to you for some. Everybody reason. should have their own white noise. <laughs> if why. everybody just had a little low buzz constantly coming out of them, the world would be. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, just a, a peaceful place. Uh, another. Rain. Rain. That's a good one. Rain Be on more paper. Specific. Oh, no. storm. Yeah. Oh, I, I miss that down here in Southern hear, California. We don't hear that noise very I often. I would like to here. hear that when I'm sleeping. We only have one more noise, just a Please warning. let it be a series of nonstop farts. Bear. That's Chase a humming. Chase doing a cow. Ed, no. Wait for it. How much breath does he have? It's definitely Chase, though. That's pretty good, super note. He's getting into some throat singing. Oh, uh, no, you can't do that. You can't take a breath. That'll wake me up. Because I was about to say, I'll take that. Well, that was you, right, Chase? I'll, uh... I'll... What noise were you making? That was a very white noise. <laughs> 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 uh, well, what would you call that, Chase? Uh, I was trying to be a vacuum. Oh, I was trying to be a I vacuum. I was trying to be well, a Don't vacuum. be one of those for Halloween. <laughs> cloak yourself in mythicality with our newest society exclusive item, a secret society cloak. Sign up for the third degree quarterly or annual plan by September 30th at mythicalsociety.com to be eligible.